let's see how it's going. Right, this time I'm going to look at uh, modifying a Super Nintendo Junior or Mini or Two or <laughs> whatever you know it by, but yeah, one of these. Uh, now what I'm going to be doing with it is, um, and it's actually quite a common complaint with these and also a request from a, uh, another YouTube member, um, that these don't have any form of power light so um, you don't know when the machine's on or not and I, like probably anybody that owns one of these, has quite often made the mistake of leaving the thing running all night. So all we're going to do is just add an LED to it just so we know when the thing's on. Now. Um, it's kind of up to you as to where you want to mount the LED. Um, for me personally, um, I'm actually going to try and put mine so it shines through this little wee hole in here, just where it says on. So I, for me, very subtle, you know, I don't need a lot, but I've seen quite often guys will mount them, you know, in the front or wherever really. I, I just want an indication and to be honest, it, it doesn't really matter where you want to mount it um, because the wiring is going to be the same. So. Use this guide if you like to see where to get your power feed and what you need for it and then just, you know, mount it to your own um, discretion. So, all we need to do is uh, get it apart and um, get some holes put in it. So I'll just go ahead and get that done and then uh, we'll be back into it with the wiring. Okay, so I've just got the um, lid taken off here and I'm just going to very carefully just uh, drill this little hole in and um, I'll see if I can't get a little bit closer. That's better, so we can have a bit of a closer look here. So, just where it says on, I'm just going to um, punch a small little hole through there just so our light can shine through. And I'm just using a one and a half millimetre bit if you want to put this in the same place. There we go. Just like that, it's nice and you just take it nice and slow and um, now we need to do is get some wiring in and our LED. Okay, so this is just looking at the underneath of um, underneath of where we've just drilled through, as you can see. And I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue in there first, just so it diffuses our light. And then I'm just going to sit our LED down onto that. Okay, so now we've got our LED just sort of sitting there. Um, what I'm going to do is just put a bit more glue around it just to sort of pack it into place so it doesn't move. Now it'll get it secure enough to work on and once I'm actually finished I'll um, come back and probably just add a bit more again as well. But you want to make sure that when you're fitting this that you keep this piece of plastic here clear because um, the switch um, needs to actually uh, slide on it. These are uh, little hooks here. They slide up and down this plastic, so yeah, definitely keep that clear. Right, so we'll just set that set, and then we'll get on to some wiring. Okay, so, looking at the um, bottom of our motherboard, we need to find the pins for the voltage regulator, which is just above the cartridge connector, and it's about in the centre. And, um, I've got R40 marked here as a bit of a point of reference and our centre pin of the three, um, that's actually what we're going to use for our ground and the pin on the right hand side or closest to where this R40 marking is down here, um, that's where we're going to get our 5 volt feed from. So we'll do like we usually do and we're just going to add a little bit of solder to it first just to loosen it up. So we're just going to attach our ground wire, so we're going to use black for ground. And then we'll just attach a uh, red wire for 5 volts. Nice and easy. Now all we need to do is add a resistor to this and attach it to our LED and we're finished. But um, I'm just going to quickly add some hot glue just to secure this. So we 
don't want it uh, to short out on anything. And as I've said in the other videos as well, when you go to attach these, just keep in mind where you're going to run your cables because you don't want it to go under um, any screw holes or underneath where the cartridge goes in because it'll get pressure put on the cable and you might end up splitting it and causing a short. So I'll just let this set and then uh, we'll come back and add our resistor. Okay, so now that we've attached our 5 volt feed in our ground, um, what we need to do is we need to put a resistor um, on the 5 volt line and that's because pretty much any LED you're going to buy, despite what it says on a packet, isn't really going to like having 5 volts put into it. So what I've got here is a 270 ohm resistor and what I'm going to do is just attach that onto the uh, red wire that we've got our 5 volts coming into. So I'll just quickly give that a bit of a twist on there. So it's going to hold it in place for us. And I'm just going to come back and add some solder to it. Right, I'll just get some uh, heat shrink over this to insulate it. And then we can attach it to our LED and then we'll give it a test. Okay, so I'm just going to slide some uh, heat shrink over our positive leg here. And we'll just push it right out of the way for the moment. and. Just going to add some over our other bit of wire for our ground so they can attach nice and easy. And we just trim off the excess. Right, now we just need to attach them to our LED. And remember with the LEDs, the longest leg is the positive leg. So what I'm gonna do is just give these a bit of a trim. So it's our ground wire attached. Okay, now we've got our resistor attached, what we'll do is We'll be able to slide this heat shrink down and actually um, get it all insulated so it's nice and safe. Um, and we'll just give it a little bit of a bend just so the lid is actually going to go on just a little bit nicer. Right, and I'll just use my heat gun and just very quickly shrink this up. Okay, so uh, now it's ready for us to uh, give it a quick test. Okay, so now we've just uh, got our lid and everything back together. We'll just give it a quick test. And there we go. So for me, I wanted something nice and subtle, so that's exactly what I'm after. But like I say, some of you might like to mount the um, LED on the front or wherever you like. Now, just before I go, one other important tip is the value of the resistor that you use varies how much voltage you put through and how much voltage you need depends on what your LED needs. So one thing I can tell you for sure is 5 volts is definitely too much for pretty much any of them. So what you may want to do is, I, I use 270 ohm resistors for this particular LED. Um, some LEDs though do need a little bit more voltage so another one you can use is uh, these, um, these are 150 ohm and when you use these you'll be putting about three and a half, four volts into it which is kind of the max that you want to put into an LED. 
but um, if your LED doesn't start up when you've done this mod, go back and check your connections, but the other thing is to get your multimeter and see how many volts are actually coming out um, after, the, after the resistor, because you might find that you don't have quite enough to get your LED going. So you'll need a little bit of trial and error, and I have seen on the internet there's several good websites you can go to to actually calculate what value you need. Um, so you're putting 5 volts in, your LED needs 2 volts or 4.5 volts or whatever and it'll tell you what value you're resistor to get. So doing a little bit of homework will help but as a rule of thumb, um, 270 or 300 ohm resistors are good, um, 150 ohm uh, resistors, they're also an option for you as well. But um, that's pretty much it, so have fun guys and we'll see you again soon.